The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day, folks. Welcome to the January 25th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past eight o'clock in the morning. That's right. If you're listening at the normal time, thank you so much for doing so. We'll try to make this show as pertinent as we can for that. The rest of this week, we'll be recording. Well, we'll, we will be recording the shows between eight and nine. So we'd love you to join us live out there. And of course, we would love to hear from you. So if you are listening live, you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in and you're listening during the time period of 8 to 9, uh, you can go ahead and send me an email, steve at tfn.com, uh, with something that you want me to go ahead and take a look at for you. And, of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Les Show. As we begin the morning, all U.S. equity futures are trading lower. The Dow's down 337 points, about 1 percent, two and a quarter percent for the Nasdaq. That's 330 points. The S&P off 75, nearly 2 percent. The E-mini is off 34, one and seven tenths percent. In Asia last night, they got their butts kicked. You had the Shanghai down two and a half percent, 95 points. The Nikkei off one and seven tenths percent, 457. The same percentage for the Hang Seng down 412. Over in Australia, the 200, 2.5% 2 to the downside, 177. In Europe, they're saying, I don't know what you're talking about. Why is everybody trading lower? We're trading higher. You've got the DAX up 65 points. That's a half a percent. The FTSE up 1%. That's trading out at 73.72. We'll go take a look at those charts and see what they're communicating to you and I. Gold's off a buck. Silver's down three pennies. Light sweep crude trading out at 83.18. What does all that mean? Well, just to give you the quick overview, excuse me, didn't mean to spit out uh, whatever that was, a grape, I guess. You probably didn't. Well, you didn't see that because I don't have that uh, screen on there right now. I didn't have to tell you that. I revealed too much personal information, didn't I? Well, you know what it is when you're And Anyway, let's just take a look at this nine panel market update chart. That's right. Stay on track, Steve-O. So here, just to give a feel for what the markets are doing, then we're going to go investigate uh, all this. What does it mean? So we take a look at yesterday, the ES Mini. The ES Mini completed a buy the D point. It did that because yesterday's candle was a bullish hammer candle out there. So that's the first thing we know. So we've got a uh, what would appear to be a solid bottom. Now, if you're to ask me now, the, the, the issue with regard to hammer candles like yesterday, because you have such a long wick, if you were to take a long position, your stop really needs to be a close below the bottom of that hammer candle. So if you'd ask me where is the right place to buy a hammer candle, Steve is going to say about halfway into the wick, between halfway and lower. The ideal buy would be testing the actual low of yesterday out there on lighter volume. Are we about halfway in the wick? Now, the other thing you'd want to do is take a look at some pattern on a uh, intraday time period that would give you a bottoming signal, say like a Gartley buy pattern or something along those lines. We're going to go take a look at those patterns that may or may not be setting up. So that's what went on in the ES Mini. And because the ES Mini and the VIX uh, sort of uh, emulate each other to a certain extent, if we take a look at, so you had the ES Mini form a hammer candle, and the spot volatilix formed a bearish shooting star. Now, my experience is where I can share with you that, hey, I know where to buy a hammer candle. Now, typically, you like to buy the hammer candle on day six or seven. 
with the price coming back into the uh, middle of that uh, bar. That doesn't look like that's what's going to be the opportunity. But shooting star candles are slightly different than hammers. I would not tell you the place to sell a shooting star is halfway into the wick. Shooting stars, my experience is, we won't know till the end of the day, but we do know what it looks like at 8, 11 in the morning. Shooting stars either work or they don't. And what I mean by that is price should be trading lower, and it's not. So that should make everybody out there say, hmm, something to think about. If we take a look at the NQ, it too generated a buy the D point, the A to B equals CD to the downside, because of its bullish hammer candle. So we'll come back to that. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it is it formed an actual buy the D point. It did it right here in this trading session, which was what uh, January 14th. And now there's I'm not going to say there's an A to B equals CD to upside, but there is as price is trading above the top of its daily profile and likely targeting the top of its weekly profile. So that's 96.91. That should put some pressure inside of gold and silver. Gold really just trading sideways. It's back like a buck or two. Right now it's trading out at 1842. And as long as it stays above 1833, that's the B point of its A to B equals CD to the upside. 1861 should be the target. And price is above the top of its daily profile. Whereas in the case of silver, it has an A to B equals CD up pattern, but has not generated a bearish reversal candle. But price is now trading below the top of its daily profile. So if price closes the day below 2392, you could see a move back to support. That would be the bullish structured profile area, and that's in the 2288 to 2309 level. Light sweet crude is just testing support. That's the bottom of its daily profile, 8320. If there were to be a close below that level, that would suggest a further retracement. Natural gas, uh, over the last uh, three or four trading sessions, as it traded back to the support of its daily profile, and that's at the three dollar and sixty six cent level. And in a few minutes, we'll go uh, further. We'll take a further deep dive into natural gas. One of our debtors would like to take a look at uh, taking a long position there and is looking for an entry point into UNG. So we'll take a look at all of that. The thirty year Treasury uh, it formed a bottoming pattern out here, but what price did yesterday, the day before, this morning, it ran right into resistance. That's the range of that bearish structured profile. And that's where the sellers reside. And that's in the area of 155 and a quarter to 156.28. So there's kind of an overview of the markets, where we're at. And now let's uh, start uh, spending some time taking a look at the equity future contracts out here. So uh, let, give me a moment here just to uh, change screens. Uh, we're going to change this over to, oh, I know what we're going to do. Before I actually change my screens out here, we're going to do this. I'm going to come to this screen. I think this is what we really wanted to do. And that is, so here are the four equity future contracts for their 30 minute time frame now last night we take a look let me get rid of the and i'll just focus on the es mini right now so i'm just going to just simply expand this out and get rid of the a to b equals cd pattern so first a description of what took place last night what you could or should have anticipated so what the 30 minute chart did yesterday was it generated a gartley sell pattern the a point and that requires an a to b equals cd the a point was the low at 12 noon the b point was the high at uh, at the two o'clock session and that was just a one bar move lower and that was into the 230 time frame so you can see this formed a one it did over one to one a to b equals cd pattern and then you had the uh, bearish reversal candles that uh, formed out here at uh, 1800 hours uh, last evening again at uh, 1900 hours so that set up the gartley sell pattern or the sell the d point so i'm going to get rid of this now all sell the d point patterns have five different potential outcomes and the first four the first three are really retracement levels so when we get back from this break we'll go take a look at those retracement levels so that you can monitor the es mini and we'll take a look at what could be setting up right now, which is a Gertley buy pattern. We don't have that confirmation just yet, but we might during the show. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. 
For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So for those of you that are trading intraday out here, we've got the 30-minute ES Mini up on our screen. And I've turned on its uh, trend line so that you can see the uh, trend lines established off of certain swing points out here. In fact, the high from last evening was nothing more than a, a test of a, a trend line out there. And then the rally that we saw here into the uh, time frame of about 5 o'clock this morning also running right into that uh, trend line. Now, I also have out here what is the B point of, an a to, of a potential A to B equals CD to the downside. That's at 43.2875. You can see that level is being tested. That swing point low is being tested. But a close below 43.2875 would give us an A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, before we went to that break, I shared with you that there's four or five different potential outcomes of any type of a uh, Gartley. And this was a Gartley cell pattern that formed last night. So the Gartley cell pattern, the first four outcomes are going to be retracements. The first level, and that's going to be of the entire move from the low to the high, and that's what we have here. Those are the green horizontal lines. So the first retracement level is a 0 0.382 retracement, and that's at the 43.35 level. We're trading at 43.33. So if this area holds here, and that's all the retracement that we have, then we'll see an A to B equals CD to the upside. I don't know if we're going to have that. We would use the low, in essence, right now as of this candle that we're in. And it would be more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals C to the upside. In fact, I'll show you what that would look like here because this is one potential outcome. Right now, I don't know which of these two outcomes that we're going to take a look at are going to form out here. But that potential outcome, if in fact the low that we just see here being known in this 8 to 8.30 session, that would give you a one-to-one -one price projection of 45.17. How do you know if that's going to take place? Well, if this 43.19 level holds, AM price takes out 44.11 and a quarter, then you've got your A to B equals CD to the upside. And because it's only 0 0.382 retracement, you would expect it to do more than the one to one A to B equals CD pattern. 4571. But we don't know if that is the pattern that is in play here. Right now, what we're looking for is any kind of intraday signal out here. So the first outcome of any Gartley cell pattern, the 0 0.382 retracement of the entire move. The second outcome, the 0 0.618, that's at 42.88. The third one is at the 0 0.786 or 42.55. 
here it's going to cost me a dollar because I'm going to say the fourth outcome is that 100% move of a move. That was, uh, I believe, uh, patented, uh, trademarked, I should say, not patented, but trademarked by Obi-Wan Kenobi out there. And so that would be the fourth outcome. The fifth outcome is that it formed a uh, an entirely brand new A to B equals CD to the downside. So we won't go there, but you certainly want to keep an eye on or potentially keep an eye on 4288 to 4255. Okay, so we've got that out of the way. Now let's take a look at the Gartley uh, buy pattern. This is what you'd preferably like to see unfold this morning if you're going to take a shot at a long position. And I'm not suggesting that you do that. I'm just saying if you are, this would be the pattern that you would like to see. Just like we saw a Gartley sell pattern last night, you'd like to see a Gartley buy pattern. So the A point, that's going to be the high of the session. Uh, the B point is going to be that swing that we're looking at at the 43.28 level. The C point is going to be the high from uh, 5 o'clock this morning. So the one-to-one -one area out here. Now, this retracement is a point, almost a 0 0.618. It's a 65% retracement. So in this case here, or, uh, ordinarily, you would think that price would find support at about 4,300. Uh, the caution there is that price right now along the C to D leg is on the left-hand side. So it's actually a bit stronger than the A to B move out here. And when it's a bit stronger, when price is trading on the strong side, you can do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. But these would be your ranges here. It doesn't matter which price projection should price close below 43.2875 that it gets to to the downside. What you would be looking for, just like we looked at to identify a Gartley sell pattern at the high last night, what we'd be looking for is some type of bullish reversal candle. So if you get that, and the lower the better off because you start getting into that midsection of the uh, of the uh, wick of the uh, hammer candle out there. And so you want to, from a trading, because your, low, your, your, your stop on a trade out here really needs to be below the low of yesterday. You get a close below the low of yesterday, then the markets uh, are likely signaling to you and I that they're going to head lower. So this is the pattern for the ES Mini. Quite frankly, this is the pattern for each of the equity future contracts out here. So now as I just simply resize that ES Mini, you can see the A to B equals CD down patterns that are potentially set up for each of the equity future contracts. So, you know the one-to-one -one price projection, should it unfold, which for the NQ requires a close below 14,151, You'll be looking at 14.005, 13.903. Inside the Dow, it needs to close below, uh, what is that number? Let me see if I can find it. 33,855. So a close below that, we'd be looking at 33,750 to 33,613. And the Russell, you'd be looking at 1983, 1972, maybe even 1957. What we don't have right now is a confirmation of those A to B equals CD down patterns out here. And each of these have made about a 0 0.382 retracement, just like we looked at inside the ES Mini. So it could be signaling, again, a large A to B equals CD to the upside. I just don't know. The reason to be cautious out here, and it's really just going back to that market update chart and take a look at that e and take a look at that spot volatility index, is to remember that shooting stars typically work or they don't. The last shooting star that formed out here uh, in the spot volatility index was on trade day of January 10th. And you can see that that actually worked. The very following session, price moved lower. And the next session after that. That's typically how a shooting star candle will behave, at least the following session out here. Now, of course, we're only we're early into the trading session, so I don't know what the end of day looks like. But we do know what it looks like right now. Now, everybody should be really expecting a bounce or a bottom out here. We certainly got the bottom signals yesterday in each of the equity future contracts out there for the daily time frame. And the reason to expect more is uh, is because you are more. No, the reason to expect more is because if we take a look at the advanced decline oscillator for the New York Stock Exchange, it still has a reading of minus 249, minus 250, basically. And that's that extreme oversold condition. My concern there, or your concern should be, it doesn't mean that we're just simply going to blast up out of here. Yesterday was a pretty good blast off move, used a lot of energy out there. So you can expect or anticipate or understand why price would be pulling back out there. But that's not how we're re really evaluating what's going on in the market. If you take a look back at the March 2020 low, one of the ways that the market will typically form a bottom, and I think more likely than not, this is what we're looking at for the New York Stock Exchange. And I don't expect this to unfold uh, for uh, weeks out here. 
uh, it could be longer than a, a week. Um, and that is where you have a rising bottoms advanced decline oscillator in the face of lower price. Now, I don't know. I can't guarantee that that's what the outcome is going to be. But right now, as I take a look at all the patterns that are out there, that is the most likely outcome. And if the market uh, gives us additional information, that will change our opinion. So I can understand. And you, normally I would be on the soapbox out here saying, buy, buy, buy. Uh, but it could be good buy. Or it could be a bad buy, right? So we don't want to do that. We want to wait for some type of a pattern to form out here. With regard to the intraday charts, you're only in bar five right now of a, a TD9 count. So you could get that over, you know, the coming uh, couple of hours out there uh, with a bottoming signal. But it would really be the Gartley buy pattern that would be the better of the uh, patterns to pay attention to. So we're going to go to a break here in about uh, 15, 20 seconds or so. And let's see, is there anything else? Oh, so here's an interesting thing. So if we take a look at last night's rally inside the Dow, what I noticed was uh, here is where did price stop? Price stopped right at the bottom of its weekly profile. That was 34,435. That's a really important price point out there. The actual high was uh, 34,410 versus 34,435. Remaining below the bottom of a weekly profile is uh, a change in trend signal. But all will depend upon Friday's close, not where we're trading at 826 in the morning on Tuesday. Steve Rhodes with TFNM. We're going to go take a look at Amazon. Uh, we're going to go take a look at uh, a couple of other instruments as soon as we get back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Welcome 
back, folks. We've got the uh, natural gas contract, the March contract, up on our screen out here. We've got the daily, the weekly, the uh, monthly, and the uh, quarterly time frame. And so we've got a uh, someone that's just interested in going long this. Now, what you can see here is you're really inside a narrow trading range. And that narrow trading range is really in between its daily profiles, which also happens to, we can see a rising trend line and a falling trend line out here. So if you are going to take a long position, you've got to anticipate that price is going to find resistance at about $4.12 cents you're at 380 right now so i don't know if it's worth the reward risk but you've got to take a look at that and it's not that price can't take out those trend lines but at four dollars and 12 cents you have the top of the daily profile four dollars and 15 cents you've got the top of the weekly profile and therein lies where your snipers are at where your sellers are at so and then you've got 448 which happens to be the top of the monthly profile out there so you've got a lot of uh, selling as price if price in fact does rally up to that range out there so where would be the place to buy this? Well, the place to buy this would have been maybe yesterday as price was testing or getting close to the bottom of that daily profile, 366. Uh, the day before, it in fact tested that uh, level out there. So that would be an area to buy. Is there any chance that price is going to get back there? Well, let's go take a look at our eight panel charts. I don't know the answer to this, but our eight channel parts should at least provide us with some information to help us answer that question. And as we take a look at it here, what we're going to do is uh, focus in on the 30-minute time frame. So the 30-minute time frame, it looks like that this uh, TD9 count hold, let me just see here, uh, it, it did. So you've got a TD9 count that formed out here at 3.30 in the morning. No, that wasn't 3.30. Yeah, it was 3.30 in the morning. And, uh, and price is right now below the bottom of the 30-minute profile. So price could make its way back to its breakout level, $3.76. So if you're interested in taking a long position, one place for you to consider is 376. That happens to be the breakout level for the 30 minute, the breakout level for the 60 minute, which also has a TD9 count. Uh, price got back to its bullish structure. Now I'm referring to the 60 minute chart, lower left hand panel out there. So, you know, a level of support is held, 120 minutes oscillator and change line, and bottom of its profile is held out there. So I would say, yeah, if you can get a move back to that 376, that would be an area. But remember, um, you know, you've got that resistance at the 412 level. What is all that mean for the UNG? So that's a good question. If we take a look at the, and, and the problem is the UNG, I don't know which contracts are actually inside the UNG out here. Uh, so it's likely to be multiple contracts. Likely, I don't know if it is or it isn't in this case. Um, so then why are you saying likely, Steve? Well, because likely it involves typically more than just one contract out here. But if we take a look at the UNG, and you really almost have to time your entry into the UNG based upon what natural gas is doing out there. So that would be the, rec the recommendation. But if UNG did pull back, you can see it has a new bullish structured profile out there, which held from a couple of days ago. So here, the entry point is probably between 1271 and 1310. Probably about the best information I can provide to you at this stage here. And so uh, I hope that that helped you out and uh, best of luck with the uh, trade out there. The next request was, to, oh wait, I didn't even show you those charts. My apology, hold on. Stevie, uh, I need Mr. Bill. He usually whacks me upside the head when I forget to change screens out there. But here, here is that screen right now for UNG. So you can see again, the bottom of, you're looking at the left-hand panel chart, the daily time frame, bullish structured profile out there. So the bottom Buyers are basically in the zone of 1271 to 1310. And really, as a target to the upside, I'd either use 1464 or maybe the high of that uh, candle out here, which is, or this session, it'll be somewhere in between the. Uh, 1502 to 1619 area. So that's it uh, with regard to natural gas and what it is uh, doing out there. We did have another request. This came in last evening, and that request was to take a look at Amazon, A-M-Z-N. Now, because I can't grab that email off my phone because it was so many hours ago, um, I, I don't remember specifically what the question was, so my apology there. However, uh, what we do want to do is just really take a look and see what are the chart patterns inside of Amazon. So when I take a look at the Amazon chart out here, what I see is a consolidation pattern. Now, let me just move the, and the, the and it's a consolidation pattern in essence that began back in uh, July of 2020. So the bottom is well established. We did get a slight close below this on uh, Friday. And then yesterday price closed back just above the bottom of that consolidation. So the consolidation pattern is still in effect. If yesterday was some kind of significant bottom out here, then if you were looking to buy Amazon because you're at the 
bottom of that consolidation, this in essence would be the place to enter. And if you get a close below certainly yesterday's low, then what you know is you actually have a consolidation breakdown. And that consolidation breakdown would give us a measured move to the downside. That measured move to the downside would take us into about the 1991 level. Now, at this stage here, I'm not saying that that's where price is going because the consolidation has held. You and I like to see two consecutive closes above resistance or below support. We don't have that in this instance here for Amazon. A level of resistance in Amazon, should it in fact rally, would be in the 3216 level. That's the bottom of its daily profile. Now, let's go take a look at the other profiles that are out here. Well below the bottom of its weekly, it's below the bottom of its monthly. And all of that supports the idea of Amazon doing that consolidation breakout to the downside. But it has not proven Proven itself to us. Uh, if you give me a moment here, I want to go over to my white background charts. I've just got to uh, get to a different screen, and I'll pull this over here. Let's just see what other information we can gleam about Amazon. So, yesterday, so we do have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, I'm pretty good at the alphabet arm, am I not? So, yesterday was wave number seven, letter G. So, we don't have a bottoming signal. Yesterday was not a bullish reversal candle or anything. There is an A to B equals C, D to the downside. So, Amazon has not given us the all clear. But the consolid, but the, the pattern that was out there, now, we wouldn't have noticed that if I had pulled up just this white background chart. I don't see a consolidation here. It was being able to take a look at a longer time frame to get a feel for what was going on. So, you do have a potential of a bottoming signal. That would be wave number seven. That is courtesy of uh, Basil Chapman. Is Chapman wave out there, but that is not the Chapman wave. We just now You don't get a, confirm a confirmation of wave number seven until you have a higher low that would need to take place today. As far as where Amazon could bounce from here, I would say it would be that oscillator and change line. That would likely be the extent of the rally. That's at about 3092 right now. If price could take it out, then we're looking at the bottom of that uh, daily profile, and that would be 3216. That's what the daily chart tells us. The weekly chart out here, well, you are in bar number nine on a TD9 count. So that's kind of interesting. Why? Because you, that's a bottoming signal or a potential bottoming signal. That, with regard to Amazon getting back to the consolidation area of that daily profile, that does suggest we could see that bounce out here. And in the case of the weekly chart, that bounce could actually take you up to about the 3271 area. On the monthly time frame, nothing more than a Rhodes momentum indicator top, but with price below the bottom of that bullish structure monthly profile. And it depends on where price closes next Monday. Uh, if it closes below that level, longer term, this could be signaling to you and I that price wants to get back to 1626. We've got a caller on the line. Let's go out to John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing? Steve, I'm, I'm very well. I, I wanted to ask you about the um, S&P 500 and their futures. Yes. Steve, um, you know, you have proven to everybody that uh, you've studied just about everything under the sun when it comes to price movement in markets. And one thing I learned very long ago was during very steep declines in stock, uh, in the stock market, in stock indices. Um, hey, John, hey, John I, I apologize for cutting you off. And we, we all want to hear your thought. And uh, I don't want it to be broken off uh, other than by me, of course. Uh, but no, I don't want it to be broken off. We're going to a break here. <laughs> so, so so, do me a favor. Hold, hold on, because I know what you're going to share with us is very valuable. We'll be back in about three to four minutes, folks, with John in Philly. See Rhodes with tf &A. trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. If you are listening at the normal time, 1.42 in the afternoon, thanks so much for doing that. We're recording today's show and the rest of the week and then maybe the first couple of next week uh, at the 8 o'clock hour. We're on the line with John in Philly, who wants to make some observations that he has seen uh, with regard to uh, markets that move uh, lower swiftly. So, John, please take it away from here. Yes, yeah, Steve. Uh, the observation is uh, having lived a great many bear phases through my trading career, and studied a great many others that preceded my doing so, um, it, it became very clear that during uh, stiff bear phases, uh, and what we're in right now uh, qualifies as such. I mean, we don't know sure. if it's a very short-term bear phase or a, um, a longer term, Yes, but it is one nonetheless. Those phases... <clears throat> It's very, very common to see short squeeze bounces, and I use the phrase, rip your face off short squeezes. Yes, yes. And yesterday, for three and a half hours from 1230 uh, into the close, was just, uh, just one such event. Yes. Now, I'm assuming, Steve, uh, given that you've proven to us all over the years that you've studied just about everything under the sun... I'm guessing you have studied rip your face off short squeeze bounces in some detail. And if you have, the rally that took place yesterday in the S&P and the NASDAQ into the close, is it uh, possible or likely that the bounce is done, we're over, and that we now proceed to lower lows in some particular fashion? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I that that is uh, that is uh, so. You know, if you take a look at yesterday's candle session, daily hammer candles. Uh, here we take a look at it. This is the eight panel chart out here for the ES mini. I mean, it is a perfect completion of a uh, Gartley buy pattern. A buy the D point out here, and uh, I am very hesitant about, especially during today's shows, to suggest that uh, people uh, take a, a long position right now. 
And it is really because of that, John. It's because of that and some other things that I shared with subscribers this morning. I'm going to keep for subscribers at this point in time that help to uh, say, yeah, that, uh, that the rally could easily be over. Absolutely. Now, my preference would be to uh, see some new profiles form out here, which the, the ES, the NQ, and the Dow were attempting to do last night. Those fell off at about 4 o'clock this morning. So the only profile that is new out here happens to be on the Russell 2000. Russell 2000 had a nice rally. I'm just going to change charts here and uh, show you and everybody else. Now, this is the thing that's kind of interesting. So the – and this is, a, this is a confirmed new market profile, daily market profile. Look how wide this is, John. Now, this is a bearish structured profile, but where the sellers reside inside the Russell 2000 supposedly is between 2152 and 2180. Now, that would be a real rip-your-face-off rally out here. So the question is, does the support level inside the Russell hold? That's at 1982. Um, so I guess the, the answer to your question is yes, I see that as a possibility. But what I'd like to see unfold here is, um, you know, what do, does the market – see, I, I mean, I, I can easily make the case, as I was trying to do this morning, that, um, you know, there's just uh, maybe Gartley buy patterns that are going to form uh, on the intraday time frame charts. And if the yesterday's highs get taken out, you know, then we then we head higher. So I, I – it almost does sound to when I when I listen to myself, which rarely do I do that. Um, <laughs> I, it doesn't sound like I've got a ton of conviction behind that, but <laughs> and I, I apologize for that. Uh, but but uh, yes, I, I do believe that that could be that could be the extent of the rally. Absolutely. Well, I, I Steve, uh, with a percentage moves as large as they uh, are occurring here these past three weeks. Having a conviction that you utter publicly at any given moment in time has an incredibly high probability of being just dead wrong. So, yeah. <laughs> so I, I understand your logic and your thinking, yeah. and that that be the appropriate thing to do. And um, when uh, when there's that sort of uncertainty, it especially when you're in the position of being a professional advising clients. It frankly is a disservice to claim you've got conviction when you know the odds of being just dead wrong are high. So I, uh, I yeah. applaud you with that tactic. So, and, and so thanks I think, so much well, for your time. We appreciate it. You, you bet, John. Thanks for uh, calling out there. And really, just to follow up on that, most of you have listened to the show. You know me. You know I have a more positive than negative outlook out there. Um, and uh, in in and and with those nice hammer candles that formed yesterday. I'm sure many subscribers have woke up this morning to say, well, why is Stevie not uh, bullish out there? Why is he saying you jump in and take a long position? Now, I laid out the reasons inside that newsletter, which I believe are, are very solid reasons for us to consider out there. And uh, But right now, we don't have, and here's the 30-minute charts. Uh, this could be an A to B equals CD to the upside, or we could be generating A to B equals CD to the downside. That could generate a, a Gartley uh, buy pattern out there. So until the pattern actually sets up, because I'm a pattern recognition individual, and I do recognize yesterday's daily signal out there, um, I think we should have some pause. Okay, so uh, there was a question. Uh, in fact, since John was on the line, and he shared this inside the Tiger's Den and elsewhere, uh, Matt S. writes in and uh, uh, he, he wanted me to go into further detail about what I shared inside the newsletter, and I'll do that individually with subscribers out there. Uh, but he, he wanted to see what the uh, Nikkei top in the 80s, uh, compliments of John and Philly out here, what that looks like. So uh, this is a, a pattern that uh, John uh, came up with. I believe he might have gotten that signal from uh, another contributor. Uh, who was it? Uh, who was it? I'll think of it perhaps, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to share. This is a a kind of a correlation, not a kind of. It is a correlation between a uh, between the Nikkei uh, back back in the uh, 80s out there and the uh, and the NDX 100. So let me just change screens out here. And what I've done, uh, yes, not a. Uh, so what I've done out here is. The top chart is the uh, Nikkei. You'll see in the upper left-hand corner, it says Nikkei 225 analog. I've moved the actual high in 1980 to line up with the high in the NDX 100 
Okay, uh, so so we've got a perfect alignment. And uh, this shows you the uh, movement inside the uh, Nikkei. You can see it broke through a couple of its uh, TD9 count breakout levels here. In the NDX100, we've broken through two of those. I uh, got down to the third one out here. So you can see the the analog that is in play out here. Whether this comes to fruition or not uh, is to, I'm uncertain. But uh, Stan Harley, thank you, uh, John. And uh, so it was uh, Stan Harley who spoke about this on November 2nd. Uh, John has followed this. I went ahead and created a uh, – so I can pull this chart up every day. It will go ahead and include the new data for the – obviously for the NDX100 and the historical data for the Nikkei so that from time to time we can uh, follow that chart. So, John, uh, and that's why I wanted you to be uh, clear – not clear. I didn't want to have you start a conversation and uh, go to a break out there because, you know, folks are interested in what you have to say as well. So, Matt S., uh, uh, this is what that uh, looks like out there. What I will send to you, because your subscriber is the full picture, um, which is a different uh, graph out there, and it's not anything I can easily show here right now doing, during the show out there. So Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Uh, looks like we're going to go into the last breakout here. I'll see what questions we have and try to get to uh, those, but uh, well, it doesn't look likely. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, folks. We got the charts for Microsoft up on our screen out here. You can see on a daily basis, yesterday was also a, a big bullish hammer candle confirming a, a buy the D point out there. So we see that. What we also can see, though, and I'm going to turn off the buy the D point right now, uh, is that uh, big volume yesterday, 86 million shares testing a swing point that had 31 million shares. So typically when you and it rejected it, typically when you test a swing point with volume, you end up going back and testing that swing point. So in the case of Microsoft, what you'd be looking for is anywhere a test would be between 280.25 and 287.75. That's the top and bottom of, uh, of that uh, candle session out there. Now, price did hold its rising trend line on the uh, weekly time frame out there, and price is still above the top of its monthly profile. So really, this should be a screaming buy out there. I just say caution. I just uh, I'm really cautious at this moment. So the screaming buy or the conf confirmation of the screaming buy uh, would be a close above 308.16. Then that would say, okay, we probably are rally on. You'd have a battle at 315, a battle at 322, and then the last battle would be about the 339 level out there. Remember in the hammer candle, about the best place you can buy it is in the middle of the uh, wick. Uh, middle of the wick to lower out there. That would be the place. Your stop really needs to be below the bottom of that uh, hammer candle, and that's why it makes it so hard if the markets weren't trading lower right now to uh, just simply jump on that train out there. So that's what's going on with regard to Microsoft. I hope that helps you out. There were a couple of folks that had requests for that, that uh, by email. And the other one was to take a look at Exxon Mobil. So I'll just pull over the white background chart here. As so we take a look at Exxon Mobil, what it did yesterday was it just simply tested and rejected its oscillator and change line, as well as the top of its daily profile. And so uh, Exxon Mobil continues to look bullish. And that'll be the case so long as price remains above 69.50. Price gets below 69.50, we're looking to move to 67.18 to 67.96. Folks, thanks so much for joining me on Terrific Tuesday. Want you to have a, uh, a, a tremendous day out there. And uh, stay tuned. You've got uh, some great programming. Up next is Tommy O'Brien with the Morning Market Kickoff or David White with the Power Trading Hour. I'll see you tomorrow on wonderful Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Really, I think it's 8.06 sharp. Take care, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money 
money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors.